G'day Aries, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Hope you had a good New Year's and you're all ready into 2022, ready for the new year. Alright, so as you can see we're doing a different reading today. It is about reconciliation. How do they feel about reconciling with you Aries? So it is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or, you know, check out my playlist. There are some reconciliation videos on there, but not not specifically. Um, but yeah, there might be something in the previous readings that resonates more with you. Cross watches, this could be you, but if it's not, maybe you'll be in the next reconciliation reading. Or else same, check out your other placements or check out my playlist. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, views, all the all of them are so greatly appreciated, every single one of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and all the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. It's only a couple. Alright, let's get into it. How do they feel about reconciling with Aries? Five of Wands, ooh, conflicted. Six of Wands, but wanting the success here. Temperance being patient. Three of Pentacles, wanting to work on this. Wanting to work together, but they're having to be patient here if they want this success. But yeah, they're conflicted. They're conflicted, Dal. They're conflicted. Possibly might be worried about competition. Alright, let's get into it. Give me six cards on how they feel about reconciling with Aries, please. more please there we go oh all right so they have the emperor mm, trying to stay in control well we'll find out what the go with that is running an empire ace of wands wanting a passionate new beginning or wanting to take action on a new beginning with you Ten of Swords. Hmm. There was a really painful ending here, though. Painful for them. They're still looking at that painful ending. The Star. Wanting to heal this between you two. You are their wish fulfillment. The Tower. But, yeah, it all fell apart, didn't it? Something's got to change here. The Devil. Hmm. Toxic energy. <sighs> They need to change it, toxic energy, if they want to heal this. But they're stressed out about it. Mm, what's at the bottom? The world, they know the cycle's ended here. Because one of you's walked away here. Eight of Cups. Six of Cups, reminiscing about the past. Judgment, wanting to reconcile. Wanting that second chance. They do want that second chance with you. Oh, maybe they want a second chance with someone else. Oh, I hope not. But yeah, reminiscing about the past, wanting a second chance here after walking away and closing out a cycle with you. Hmm. Alright, let's get the details on this. Hmm. Wow. Oh, look, there's the devil and the emperor again. Just the start and the finish of this read. Their controlling ways was toxic. Alright. How do they feel about reconciling with Aries? Let's have a look what's at the bottom. Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Love and Stability. Four of Pentacles, they're still holding on to that. Needing to speak some truth. Wanting truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords. About how they want this to grow with the Empress. They had this commitment with you, but they held back from it. They want to speak the truth about wanting this to grow. Again, the word judgment, wanting a second chance. Ooh, what have we got here? Yeah, wanting to move to calmer waters with you. 
Queen of Wands. Still very attracted to you. This is your card, Aries. Fire energy. Feeling very attracted to you still. Mm, it could have been someone else, because that can be the other woman. Because, unfortunately, fire. <laughs> the fire cards aren't really the committing type. They're about passion, not much else. Not saying that's what you are. You're many aspects of different things, so. All right, tell me about the Emperor. For how they feel about reconciling with Aries. Wow. We've got the Hermit and the Page of Swords, air energy. So they've gone within to seek information. Tried to trying to keep in control, keep themselves under control. Gone within to learn about themselves, find out more information about perhaps their controlling ways or how they can stay more in control. Why they disappointed you? Why this disappointed happened? Why the cups got spilled? Because they're focused on the spilt cups. They're not looking at the cups that are standing. So they've gone within to seek information. To see this from a different perspective with the hangman. Yeah, because they're... <sighs> the emperor, the two of wands and the ace of cups. Um, yeah, they're feeling... They, they know that this relationship got turned upside down and they felt very stuck and possibly controlled or they were con trying to control it too much they're seeing it from a different perspective now um, they've made a choice here at a crossroads that they do love you they do want this new love with you but they're just trying to find a, uh, how not to disappoint you again how to control their own actions because they're the only thing that's the only thing you can control. All right, tell me about the Ace of Wands. That flip, something did flip. Queen of Swords, air energy, knowing they have to come correctly. All queens are loving, but she's the queen of truth and honesty. So to get to her heart, you've got to speak that truth. She's been hurt before and she won't be hurt again. So they know they have to come correctly. The actions that they take in this new beginning of passion and, and action, the, the action has to be to come correctly. Speak the truth. The truth has to be spoken. To, to get either of you to open up your hearts again. Nine of Pentacles. Stable, grounded, independent, single though. This is the single card. <sighs> they want a new beginning. I want to speak their truth. Are they coming in single or do they want to be single? Just wanting passion from you, but knowing that, you know, they've got to come correctly. And they've got to make sure they're single, that there's no other options. Um, Four of Cups. Knight of Wands, Fire Energy again. King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and Two of Swords. <sighs> So they're undecided about being stable and grounded and in a long-term commitment here. They may want to take that action of just passionate action here, not interested in any other offers. Knowing to have a passionate beginning with you, they have to come in with that truth. They might choose to stay single, not interested in offers of love, just wanting that passionate action because as far as being stable and grounded goes, they're undecided. If they want that stability. Mm. 
Okay. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. Ooh. King of Cups. Water energy. Very loving. A lot of love to give. But he's mastered the element, so he controls when he gives love, how much love he gives, how much emotion he shows. Can show it, but he chooses when he does. So, Ten of Swords, there was a painful ending here, and they still have this love, but they're... Well, did they not show their love? Did they try and control, like an emperor, try and control their emotions too much, and that caused the painful ending? They didn't want to show their love. And the judgment. A judgment call was made. They do want a second chance here. They know that holding back their love is what caused the painful ending. <sighs> King of Wands, fire energy. Two of Wands, four of swords and the wheel. So, hmm, do they feel like that you have made that choice to heal from them? They don't know the what, yeah, they're worried about which way the wheel's, what's going to happen in time, the way the wheel's going to turn. They're stressing about the way the wheel's going to turn after you heal. What choice will you make? Will you want this back again or not? Because you're very sexy and charismatic and you know what you want, you go after it. But are they in that energy too? At a crossroads, choosing to heal and let the time pass. On this, to when it's not so stressful to find happy ever after with you again. It'll take time to heal this, they know that. And they're at a crossroads about whether you want... Well, they know it was a painful ending. And they've had to hold back their love ever since. Yeah, they're waiting. They're waiting for this ship to come back in again. So I guess that, you know, they want to come in independent and stable and not be so dependent on you. Could have been one of the issues... Knowing they've got to speak that truth here. It's a painful ending because they didn't show their love. Or after the painful ending, they've had to hide their love. They want to move on from that. They want to move on from holding back their love, for sure. Alright. Tell me about the star. Sorry, they have the Four of Wands, the Queen of Cups, Water Energy, and the Two of Swords. So they do want to heal this, and you are their wish to have this stability with you, passionate stability, commitment, 11-11, you're their soulmate. They have this amazing love that they want to give you. Look at that King of Cups cup compared to the Queen of Cups cup. It's the best love that anyone can give and or receive. So they do want this. They want to heal this. Have that commitment between you two. Have that beautiful love that you give or that they give. But they don't know. They're undecided. They don't know how to heal it. They don't know how to get this back. They don't know how to get that stability back. How to get that beautiful love back with you. Your beautiful love. The devil. Because it, something was toxic here. Definitely, something toxic happened because we've got the Seven of Swords under the deck. King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Fire Energy, and the Knight of Pentacles. <coughs> yeah, there was. they want to heal that toxicity between you two. They still feel attached to you. 
But they know. Someone was cheating, lying, stealing. Somebody sabotaged this with the Five of Swords by not making a decision with the Two of Swords, which makes a Seven. <sighs> King of Wands. Fire. I'm getting that's you. They knew. They know that you. You know they cheated themselves out of you and this long-term stability because they didn't take any stable action here. And they just stood there with the coin and didn't do anything with it. Was that what they did? Because you know, holding back that love, not showing that stability. They know they've cheated themselves out of this with you. And that they would have to show st stable action now. For you to even consider it. I just saw the wheel again. Yeah. And it's going to take time. They're going to have to take that. If they want this ten of cups. It's going to take a long time. Of, you know, quite a lot of time of showing that stable action to get you back. Mm. They stress about it. They can't sleep at night thinking about it. I don't know why I use these cards. Um, these are my oldest and dearest cards. Well, not my oldest, but my most loved and used. Um, they want to talk to you, but they, but they don't shuffle the best. All right, tell me about the tower. But they're good cards. They've all, They've never let me down. All right. So, they have, for the Tower, oh, the Ten of Swords, yeah. The Magician and the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So, yeah, the Tower fell. It was a massive painful ending for them. It was shocking. It was, they felt completely <coughs> destroyed in this. But they want that to be over. They want to try to manifest you back in that love and stability that you offer. <coughs> that love plus that stability. Queen of Pentacles. All queens are loving. She's the queen of stability. Loving Love and stability. The commitment. They want this manifest this back again. And they know that what happened... <sighs> Made things unstable and caused the painful ending. But they do want to manifest you back in for that stable love again. Oh, look, the Ten of Cups showed. But that was actually at the bottom, but it stayed on the table. They want this Ten of Cups, but yeah, they want to communicate this. They want to talk to you. They want to see you. They want to travel and see you. And they want to talk to you about this Ten of Cups. And how they sabotaged it, caused the tower. And how they are stuck in their head about it now. Feeling trapped and stuck knowing that they caused this tower. By sabotaging this relationship. This happily ever after they had with you. <sighs> yeah, they're not... They caused a painful ending. For them as well. They, But they caused it. By the looks of it. Ten of Swords is here twice. The Devil's here twice. Painful ending from toxic behaviour. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, yeah. Stable, stable action. But they didn't do that. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting. That, well, the horse isn't moving. That's what they should have done, but they didn't. All right, tell me about the devil card, please. Why do they feel this in regards to reconciling with the Aries? Hmm. Tell me about the Devil card. Queen of Wands, Fire Energy and Ace of Wands. They still feel attached to you. This is your energy again. As in fire. Um... It's that passion. She's very charismatic, passionate, confident, which you are, Aries. 
Um, she's also not really the committing type. <laughs> the, this queen isn't. You are. You may be, but the queen is more about passion, um, and a passionate new beginning. See the devil energy is. It's, this is all about passion. They're still connected to you because they still think you're hot and sexy and they still want to have this passionate action with you. And that's why they're still attached to you because of that passionate action. They still want you. <laughs> they still think you're hot. But it, that's not enough. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. But the, he hasn't given up. This Wounded Warrior hasn't given up. No gender in the reads. It's just this is a dude who's standing here. Um, yeah, they haven't given up. <clears throat> They're not giving up. No matter how much... How exhausted they are at the fact that... But this is all wands, though. On the devil energy. It's all about action and passion. The tower come down because they didn't show stability, but and this toxicity is still here of it just being about passion here. They wish they could heal this, but they don't know how because they're still attached to you. They're still attached to you, and they want this new beginning to take action. <sighs> they haven't given up. They're still attached to you. Probably not in the best way. I mean, it's good they're going within and finding out. They, yeah, they're doing some soul-searching here. They do want to reconcile this because it was a painful ending for them. They do want to heal this, but... Yeah, they may just come back in with that <coughs> passionate action again. Got the Knight of Swords Air Energy, the King of Swords Air Energy, the Knight of Pentacles Earth Energy, and that Eight of Pentacles. Well, this is a good sign. So they do want to charge in fast and have a mature conversation about the truth here. <sighs> they want to fly in and speak the truth and clear the air and have a mature conversation. And then they're going to pull back and be slow but it's, they will put in that stable action because there's the work. There's that work. Working on that stable action for a commitment is what they want. They do want this commitment. They want to work on this being a commitment here. They know they act of rash and they do want to be mature and speak about that. And also have a truthful conversation about this stable action and how they're going to put this action in to have this stable new beginning here with the Hierophant and Justice to balance things out with you Aries. Wow. Alright, let's see what they would like to say. Ooh. What do they like to say to Aries? I'm afraid of these feelings. That's why they hide them. That's why they hid their feelings. They can't do this anymore. I've hidden my love for you, so they can't hide these. They can't be afraid of these feelings and hide this love for you anymore. And I hope you can forgive them. Wow. They definitely can't do it anymore. They can't be afraid of these feelings and hide this love anymore. They hope you can forgive them. Wow. I know I just repeated myself, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, let's see what else they have to say. What else would they like to say to Aries? At least three cards, please. Okay, we got them. And then we'll take some from the bottom as well. So they have, you turn me on. Oh yeah, that's that, that's that obsessive energy of that passion they want with you. You definitely turn them on. You're hot and sexy, Aries. <laughs> you are hot and sexy. I'm not over you. Well, duh. <laughs> we can see that. Um, but yeah, they're, nah, they're not over you at all. 
I'm afraid to reach out to you. They are petrified that you are not going to take them back. They're afraid. Put them on the deck. I'm in a codependent situation right now. A lot of signs have got this card coming out. Um, I think they're just addicted to you. I'm hearing that addicted to love song, but it's um, it's for you. They're trying to deal with this, knowing that this addiction to your love or the passion with you is a problem. They are trying to go within and, and understand why that was so disappointing. That it was all just about passion. Not saying their passion was disappointing. <laughs> um, they're trying to deal with that addiction that they have to that. Possibly they they show a lot of passion towards you, but not much, they didn't show much love. Mm. You are beautiful. They definitely think you're beautiful. Because you are. I'm sorry I lied to you. Yeah. About not showing their love. And you are hot, see? You turn them on, you're beautiful, you're hot. See, this is the thing. They have, this passion takes over them. And that's the problem. The passion takes over and it's all about passion. But the love, mm, they have a problem with that. that uh, they love you. There's no doubt about that. But they don't show it. And finally, under the deck, we belong together. So they definitely think you two belong together, that's for sure. Wow. So they're trying to deal with this... I mean, they're so turned on by you, it's almost, it's an obsession. It's like an addiction and an obsession. But there is love here as well, but they they don't know how to show it properly yet. They're trying to work that out, how to get, into, get, get themselves under control and not disappoint you by this all just being about passion. Hmm... So there you go, Aries. All right. Well, if you like the reading, as in this type of reading, this reconciliation reading, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Um, I am doing some other readings as well. A new love reading for those who are interested. And uh, what's behind the mask. See what they're hiding. That'll be another new reading. As well as I will be doing, of course, the normal readings as well. The... Love energy coming towards you. <laughs> it's just the general love energy. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. So, don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And who knows what reading will come out next. But, yeah, it'll be out in a few days or so. So, I hope you come back then. <laughs> all right. Well, all the best. Good luck. Take care. And I'll catch you later.